Hi everybody, it's story time. So the theme of the week is rabbits, right? We're talking about rabbits this week. What letter does rabbit start with? Yes, good job, R. So the letter of the week is R and we're talking about rabbits. So I have a funny story to read you. Look, it's called, it's not easy being a bunny. So I see bunny, bunny is another word for rabbit. Sometimes people say bunny, sometimes people say rabbit, but they mean the same thing. Okay, it's not easy being a bunny. Let's look at the cover. Let's look at that guy. He's a rabbit, right? I know he's a rabbit. How do you know he's a rabbit? You can tell by his long ears and his whiskers, right? Um, how do you think this rabbit feels right now? Look at his face. What are his feelings? Yeah, he's not happy. He looks sad. He looks worried. Yeah, he does not happy rabbit, okay? So do you wanna know why I'm wondering? Now this makes me wonder, why is this rabbit not happy? Okay, and the title is called It's Not Easy Being a Rabbit. It's written by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Roger Boland. Let's find out why this rabbit is so unhappy. Okay, PJ Funny Bunny was very sad. He did not like being a bunny. His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters and his ears were very big. One day, PJ decided to, to leave his home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said BJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. Can rabbits fly? No. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a beaver. So PJ went to live with the beavers. What do you think the problem is going to be there? The beavers liked to work very hard. PJ did not like to work at all. Hmm. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a pig. So PJ went to live with the pigs. What do you think? Is PJ going to be happy being a pig? Uh, but the only thing the pigs liked to do was to sit in the mud. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be a... What's that animal? Moose. I want to be a moose. And so PJ went and lived with the, with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls like the moose. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. Because he couldn't be noisy like them. I want to be a possum. So PJ went and lived with the possums. The possums like to hang upside down, but hanging upside down just gave PJ a headache. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum. Uh-oh. I want to be a, what's that? Skunk. So PJ decided to go live with the skunks. What's going to be that problem? I bet you know what that's going to be a problem, right? It did not take PJ very long to find out that he did not like living with the skunks. Why did he not like living with the skunks? He's saying, P.U. skunk smell. 
So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a mouse. I mean a moose. A moose or a possum. And most of all, I don't want to be a skunk. What I really want to be is... Can you guess? Can you make a prediction of what PJ really wants to be after trying to live with all those different animals that he didn't, didn't work out? PJ said, what I really want to be is a bunny. So PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very happy to see him and PJ was very happy to see them. That night, PJ ate all of his cooked carrots and played with every one of his brothers and sisters. He was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I'm a bunny, PJ said, and not a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. He is a bunny and that's what he's supposed to be, right? So one of the things we might learn from this story is that sometimes we look at other people or other things and we say, oh, I wish I didn't have curly hair. I wish I had straight hair. I wish I didn't have blue eyes. I wish I had brown eyes. I wish I didn't have these clothes. I wish I had those clothes. I wish I didn't have these toys. I wish I had those toys that somebody else has. But then we realize that what we have is really great. And when we notice that what we have is who we are and who we are is really special. Okay. It's really important. So. That's a little funny story about bunnies, but let's look up here. Now let me ask you a question. Is this a made up story, like a fiction, or is it um, an informational text about real bunnies in the wild? What do you think? Well, first of all, PJ is a bunny that talks. Do bunnies talk? They don't. So we know right away this is a funny made up fiction story, but it had a really great lesson, right? So let's look up here on my poster about rabbits. This is all about rabbits. It's all about what they eat, what they look like, where they live, what they do. Okay, so let's look at the rabbit. I see that it's a big rabbit. I see that, what does the rabbit have on its body? Not skin. Underneath is the skin. What's on top of the skin is fur. Yeah, rabbits have fur because they do. Wild rabbits live outside, so they need fur to keep them warm. That's right. They have little legs in the back here, and they have very strong legs that help them because we know that rabbits do what? Boing, 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 they hop. So rabbits hop, they need strong legs. They have a tiny little tail, okay? But what's big on a rabbit? The ears. Rabbits have great big ears, okay? Do you know why rabbits have such big ears? So let me give you a hint. We know they have little short legs to help them hop. And what do big ears help the rabbits do? So what is what do we do with our ears? We listen, we hear with our ears. Rabbits have a really big ears because they have a really great sense of hearing. Okay, that helps them know when enemies are near. Some other bigger animals might like to eat a small little rabbit. So they need big ears to listen so they can hear and they can hide if something comes to get them, okay? They have a little little nose, right? So rabbits have a good sense of smell also. Uh, rabbits can sniff for food with their twitchy little noses, okay? So it's important rabbits in the wild have to find their own food. So that leads us to the question, what do rabbits eat? What do you think rabbits eat? Let's look up here. Rabbits eat all kinds of plants, whatever they can find. That's why you don't want a rabbit in your vegetable garden because that rabbit will eat up all your vegetables. Maybe you can share a little bit with them. Okay, they eat all kinds of plants, okay? And where do rabbits live? Well, we know they live in the wild, but they can't stay outside all the time. It gets cold, so they have to get warm. They have to go to sleep for a little while, and they have to stay away from the danger of other animals that might hurt them or eat them. So animal, I mean, rabbits, what we talked about this before, certain animals live underground, right? We talked about animals that live underground. This, uh, rabbits live in burrows. Can you say burrows? We've talked about that before, right? Rabbits live in burrows underground. It keeps them safe and warm, okay? And then right here it says, when rabbits are happy, they jump in the air. I guess rabbits are happy, right? Because they're always jumping, okay? 
So this is our beginning of our information about rabbits. You have some work to do uh, about rabbits. You can start making a list of everything you know about rabbits because you've learned so much already. There's some videos to watch about rabbits and some songs to sing. So I hope you have a great time learning about rabbits.